Okay, this is just a quick explanation how the game basically plays out. So you're going to shuffle your decks, the Zulu and the British ones, and then you're going to deal yourself a hand of six. You've got a hand limit of six, and then you're going to put out the Zulu cards. They're face up and the second rank's face down, so you don't know what you're facing. Level one, uh, you've got six spots to fall back on. Um, every time you fall back, you can pick up one of these reinforcement cards. If you kill a Zulu card with an icon on it, you get to um, pick up a new British card as well. So it's yeah, you're risking like how well you're going to beat this one because you don't know what that one is. When you play your cards or so, you can add a volley card, which is going to let you roll an extra dice. Whatever you are on the location, you get a dice on level one. You get a dice everywhere so it's always a card plus a dice to beat that and one you don't know so just a quick show these are ammo ones if if you don't want to roll a dice you instead of rolling it you can draw the ammo these can get added later on to your attacks plus one but you can save these up so what you do is um got to decide what we're going to attack first so seeing the cards we've got 19 17 and a 15 so, if we do the 15 first, we're going to attack this one. We can have a dice, but I'm just going to clear that one because we can beat it. So I don't need to roll the dice. So I'm going to draw an ammo and keep that for later on. So we know we beat that one. So that's discarded. Now, because we beat that one, we can see what this one is. We turn it over and it's a 19. So we don't beat it. We've got 15. That is 19. There's not an I could add, because I'm not, that lets me roll, re-roll dice. Uh, so, there's not an I could do. So that one goes, and then we replace the second rank with a face down one. Okay, so now we will, so I've got five cards now. I can hold six. So you can, so one of your first choices is, do you want to fall back and draw the card? So, we'll do it. And we get a 15. Okay, but you've only got limited amount of, places you can fall back when you've gone there if you can't fall back and you can't play an attack card you lose also every time you draw a, um, a relief column card there's some in each deck you move the relief column one across when it gets to the end the relief column arrives and you automatically win so there's two ways the British can win killing all that deck and everything on them facing you or the relief column gets there the way the Zulus win is if you can't play an attack card and you can't fall or you can't fall back you lose so let's have another go we've got one ammo so we will do we only do again this 19 against this 19 we I'm not going to roll the dice so I can collect another ammo to add at some point so we kill that it's got the icon on it so we can draw the reinforcements this is a relief column, different picture that is on the, this is all a prototype, my prototype one anyway, so relief column, so what you do is advance the relief column one, it's getting closer, and you discard it and you redraw one to replace it. So we end up with a 17 card. Now we see if we beat this second card with this 19 and it's a 15, we beat it but there's no reinforcement on it, so it just gets discarded. That's them two clear, that's their attack finished, and it's replace these two cards. So now let's try and risk a, a volley fire. So I'm going to put this low card in, 15 against a 20. I get a dice anyway, because of my location, so it's still risking it a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my five volley cards, which lets me roll two dice now. So I'm going to get two dice plus the card, and we get a six. So we end up with 21, which we beat it. That is discarded, and it's got the icon on it, so we can draw the reinforcement, and we get a 19. Now we see, do we, and this one is a 15, it's a lower rank, and we've got 21 still. You use the same number you've got for both of them. You don't re-roll the dice again unless you play a card that says you can. So we beat that and no reinforcement that card dies and then we replace again it's a relief column one so 
the relief column advances, getting closer. Again, it's a relief column. Every time you draw a relief column, discard it and draw a similar card. So we've got a 19 and one we don't know. Right, so let's go and we'll just have a go at that 17 against this. We'll, we'll stick over here, this 19. So we roll the dice because we get one for the location. And we end up with 21. We do beat it. It's got an icon on it. We can draw. And building one. Sometimes buildings block the attack point so you can put a fire out. And then we see does this 21 beat and it's a 15. Beats that. That gets discarded. And we replace. And that's it. You're working your way through the deck. Um, there is bonus cards you can get that can help you. So if I played a, say I played this 17 against this 20. Okay, and I rolled my dice and I ended up with a 1. So now I've got 17, 18. I'm short. So I'll go 18, 19, 1 ammo, another ammo, 20. So that would beat that. Do that, we would get a reinforcement of there. Flip that over, we're still on 20, we beat that. So now we've got six cards. So we can choose, because we've got the icon, to choose to draw another one, which we do. Advances the relief column. So now we've got seven cards. We've got to decide which one we want to get, got to get rid of. So we've got two of these, keep your heads down, keep the heads down, anti-sniper kind of card. So we're just going to get rid of that. Okay, once you've used your ammo, because it was limited amount of ammo, you discard it from the game completely. And then we withdraw. And that's it. So you're working your way through. Level one's pretty easy because you get the dice all the way through. The odd 11 levels, you lose the dice and it just gets harder and harder. Okay, thank you.